What's the most popular number every new insurance agent says they want to make in their first year? It's always the number we get. 100 grand. How many agents are new as in like, okay, I've been in this under six months? Wow, that's awesome. And to be at something like this and to spend two days and to think big enough to do something like that, right, Joey? That's freaking incredible. Give me an example of an agent. Who's an agent in here that just started in the business this month? Wow, Sarah. Thank you. That was quick. That was real fast. All right. So give it up for Sarah. That's awesome. What's your goal? I'll put her on the spot too, so I'll give her a chance to think about it for a quick second. Really, my goal this year is to really expand into more into IDL communities. Okay. Yeah, I want to be, you know, everyone says I want to be on my way to six figures. Yep. Yep. Good. Good. Give it to her for Sarah again. That's so awesome. That's cool. What's, again, the most common number we always hear from new agents? I want to make X amount of money? I don't know why. 100 million. There we go, from Nate. I don't know, I, that dude's thinking bigger. I don't know what it is, but that's always the number, okay? So let's just use it as an example. Everybody can see that okay? We got the camera on it. Okay, cool. I'm just using numbers, so that's pretty easy to write good without letters yet, okay? Who in here sells uh, life and health? Perfect. Who in here sells PNC, commercial? Good, good, good mix, I love it, very good. Who wants me to break down their goal for the next 12 months or 2020 live from stage? I saw the hand in the third row of VIP, I think, right? Is that Amy? Jackie. Jackie, thank you so much. What's your goal, Miss Jackie? Give me like the next 12 months, next year. Well, for 2019, it Okay, perfect, let's stick with that number then, excellent. Awesome. And what product do you sell? I do uh, life, health, and Medicare. Okay. Excellent. And let's just use a average number, okay, and say that when you're selling life, health, Medicare, what's an average premium or commission that we can use? You want to use like 500 bucks just as a good example, or you want to use something different? Okay. So let's use an average of $500 per sale. I know a lot of, some of you have seen this on our YouTube, some of you have seen this similar thing at some of our live training events, but for those that haven't that are new, this is how you build a plan, okay? $100,000 divided by 500 bucks is 200, yep. It's quick math. Okay. 200 cells is what you need based on this. And I'm not, I'm not going to get into carriers or products or commission or none of that. Okay. We're just going to use this as an example. You can use your specific example later on, okay, when you're building your own plan. 200 cells. I'm going to take that and divide it by 50 weeks. Okay, what do we get? Yep. So you end up with four. I gave you two weeks off for vacation. Who likes vacation? Okay, you're welcome. Four cells a week. That's what it comes down to. So how do we break that down? A little further. Especially for new agents, we teach a triple S system. Set, sit, and sell. In this example, it was Jackie, right? Jackie would need to set 12 appointments every single week consistently. End up sitting with about two-thirds of those, which equals eight and end up with about four cells a week. Now, 
Jackie, can you set 12 appointments a week? Okay. Most agents, that's where they struggle. Everybody always wants to talk about, okay, you know, what do I say? I'm worried about products. I'm worried about the presentation. You know, I'm worried about the clothes and I'm worried about all these other things. Agents fail for one reason. What is that? I learned that quick as a new agent. It's a numbers game. If I sat with, if I sat with at least 10 people a week my first year, I made a couple grand a week. When I didn't, I struggled. So if it's an hour to uh, ability to just literally walk up, Aaron, and say, okay, I'm booking 12 appointments this week, then why aren't we all doing that? Maybe it's prospecting. Maybe you don't know what to do. Maybe some of us are, you know, door knocking, cold calling, buying leads, working with a marketing agency, warm market, referrals, networking. I don't know what to do, so I don't, don't do anything. You know, who knows, right? Which happens. Jackie, give me a few, uh, what's your main prospecting avenue, you think? Or what is it going to be? Okay, referral groups. Some leads, okay. How about how many leads a week? Five? About five a week, okay. And thank you for sharing. I'm not picking on you. This is going to be, this, is, oh, this will help. This is a perfect example, though, so thank you. What else? And how many, if you had to grab a conservative, consistent number of the amount of people you sit with in a week now, what would you say? Yep, okay, good. Sit with six. That's not bad. You're sitting with more than most agents, especially being brand new. That's awesome. Okay, so what else can we do? And are you setting six or sitting with six? Okay. Good. Good. It means you're probably great at building relationships, good with people, good personality, social, right? Okay. When you sit with six, are you making about three sales? Less, more? Two to three, okay. Now we're going to talk about a lot of other ways to make this a reality. But in this example, anything else you want to add? Oh, wow. That's awesome. You're sitting with more people than most agents that say they're working 90 hours a week. When we know they're really not, huh? Okay. I mean, we said we'd keep it real, right? Okay. Two to three sales a week. So how do we get you? Because if you're at two to three, okay, then you're closing about 33 to 50%, which in this case... To get to four every single week consistently, you need to be sitting with, actually sitting with eight to 12. 12 at 33% close, eight at a 50% close. How do we get you another two to six sits every single week consistently? And, and if you only have 20 hours, it probably is. Yeah, good, 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 awesome. Thank you very much for sharing. Give it up for Jackie. I believe that every insurance agent in here can earn $100,000. If you already earn $100K, I believe you can make two, two, earn $250. If you're already earning $250, Pete, I believe you can earn a half a million. If you're already earning a half a million, dude, I, can, I believe you can go to seven figures. If you're earning seven figures, I believe you can go to eight figures in this business. I just do. This is what I believe. And I know it's available. There's more what in our industry than anybody else? Okay. With this, it's all about building a plan. A lot of new agents struggle. They're like, I don't know what to do. The biggest thing that we struggle with is consistency. We'll have good weeks, Eric, and then not so good weeks. 
right? So it's all about building a plan and putting in specific prospecting strategies to sit with whatever you need to sit with every week to make sales. You don't want to put so much pressure on yourself that you have to close every single deal. Because when you, because when you have to make the sale and you're like, oh my gosh, this is my only point a week, I gotta make it, I gotta make it, I gotta make it. You can't throw a beach ball in the ocean, right? You put pressure on yourself, it becomes harder to sell, okay? Who believes, wait, who believes that you can earn $100,000 as a new agent right now? I believe you can too. I totally believe. And that's what we're going to spend a few days getting you to, right? You're already a part of the 8% because you're here. You're thinking bigger. You're committed. I've always loved going to stuff like this. I do leave challenged and motivated, but I leave thinking bigger. And I always pick up a nugget or two. Everyone should leave with a few nuggets. 100%. You should leave with a couple tangible things that you can implement in your business right away. Hey, you love this video and you want some brain food? I got five books that every new insurance agent should read. Go watch that. Grab the books. I'll see you over there. When you read a book, when you go to an event, when you listen to a book, when you go to a mastermind, when you buy a university,